today. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers. Oh, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the San Francisco 49ers and the Buffalo Bills. This one fielded at the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. For the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. But there aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Singletary to get the drive started. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. fake to Singletary and now it's Allen man open downfield is Diggs he's got it and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out that went nearly 30 yards 29 officially well coaches always talk about finding balance on offense I don't think you can get much more balance than this big time run Big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? They, let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch though. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Throwing on second and eight. Allen. And Diggs has it. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. 
And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Early down stuff will put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Allen looks to throw on second down. Escaping the pressure right. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Allen going to throw. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. fourth down and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over the Bills drive stalls out on fourth down and this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon so Charles they wanted seven on that opening drive they didn't want to settle for a field goal felt like a tone setter you know that's what they were looking for because a lot of teams they, they, they'll march it downfield and when they kick the field goal it almost feels disappointing, doesn't it? You have a nice drive. Yes, sir. I think this team decided, guess what? No matter what, we're going for the six, try and put those points on the board, and set them back on their heels. But unfortunately, that mentality did not work out. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. Well, that gives him a little room, but not much. A gain of two to the five. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Now that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. Fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Back deep, Naheem Hines. Oh, 
That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position where we were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence, not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On first down, Allen going for it all. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis, 29 yards. And the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon. Tyler Basson for the extra point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out there a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Gregory Rousseau works his way in for the stop and the loss. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out.
So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Up to make the play defensively, Tredavious White. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. This time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 32-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. That's Mike McGlinchey, former first-round pick out of Notre Dame with a penalty. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. They'll go option on second down, right side. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expecting to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Purdy with it on third and long. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 40 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. Now a first and 10 at the 11. There's Purdy on first and 10. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the five, second and four. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Debo Samuel, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Niners are an extra point away from evening this one up. This feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. 
but a lot of times you end up focusing on the running backs and they're able to slip it to the receiver and it resulted in a touchdown. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter and we're tied 7-7. So that one, a long 11-play drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From the six. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. He's got one touchdown pass already in this quarter, obviously looking for number two and definitely not playing the check down game. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Right there, 54, right there, right there. Allen now looks to throw. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn that for a first down. now on first down. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Off the play fake. And they'll get this down to the 10. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On the counter, this is Singletary. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Let's go, let's go. 
Right back to Singletary on second down. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It's a loss of two, now third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To the air, Allen. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. But one of the things we talked about coming into this was we were never gonna question the fight that he's gonna have for all four quarters of the game. But ideally, you want him fighting for big plays and first downs early, not fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage, as we saw right there. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills have taken the lead. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Two straight runs of five yards, first and ten. And, Brandon, you know that expression, he just does what he does? <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. They run the option here on first and 10. And yeah, not much doing. He'll get this only up to about the 36. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. The Bills bring out a couple of extra defensive backs to defend this third down play. Yeah, they're going dime. Here's Purdy. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will.
So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But we also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jarvarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to get the football here at their own 23. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Pick six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded right around the eight. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines. To no, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. And you probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. 
Now on second and 13. Purdy. And that is incomplete. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. The Niners on third down, just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. And throwing here, Purdy. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now on to punt. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. Buffalo set to get the football back here. As the offense comes out here, Charles, uh, maybe perhaps a bit more of a focus on the run game for this drive after tossing an interception on the previous one. I think that's a good way to look at it and a good way to think about it, but maybe they get to it in a little bit different way because after you throw an interception, you want to make sure you keep your quarterback's confidence high. So maybe give him a couple easy throws that he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's still in the first half here, a long way to go. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen completes it to Davis. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. On play action, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 41-yard line. He's got the first down. He's got a big game going right now. Already over 100 yards receiving in this first half alone. Second and short. That's a rundown. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 41. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. A give up the middle to Singletary. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. 
They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call, and they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. Singletary, they'll run for it. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. No dice for Sean McDermott in the offense. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. So he needed the short yard as Charles. He elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. And some room to maneuver. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 75 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Partner, there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent gain and first down. Simply put, you've got to put up more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. This one incomplete. Almost picked up by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. The football back to the Bills and Stephon Diggs making his presence felt early in this one. First half already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Throwing on first down is Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it.
So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Throwing his Allen on third, eluding the pressure right. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. First and 10 at the 38. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. No. To throw, it's Allen. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Samson Abukum. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Allen, the throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's done a lot of out right then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. The Bills on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. I thought that was a completed pass until he came in and forced the ball from his hands. Not only did he make a nice play, he brings up fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. He's got the leg, but it's no good. He missed it right, and the lead will hold at 10. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's, he's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times. But as you pointed out, use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. From the 41, Purdy. Open man is Samuel, complete. 
And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first down, Purdy. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Throwing again on second down. Purdy, that's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. But they certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second and one from the two. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey punching it in from a yard away. And the Niners get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Gold to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Allen. He finds his man. That's Sweeney. 
The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Purdy slow, pulled in by Kittle. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And third and one now. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 87 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. to throw it on first down. And a quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Completes it to Samuel. 
And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 33. 18 yards, a big pickup there on third down. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And yeah, that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. step on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12. Purdy looking to throw this one into the hands of Kittle the tight end and they're going to get this down inside the 20. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown and so far on this drive so good they've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Ed Oliver. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Third down, it's Purdy. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Robbie Gold on now to try the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. The kick by Gold is good, and that will tie things at 17-all. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their three-point halftime lead gone now back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. 
I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. He's got a man complete. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. A give to Cook out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Defensively, Jimmy Ward in on the stop. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Go, go, go. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. And he'll just get rid of it. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Bills' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. First play of the drive, a first down run. Well, that sets you up for whichever way you want to go. Do you come right back and run the football again because you've got them on their heels? Or do you play chess match with them, break tendency, and go play action and go for the big shot?
You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. On first down, it's Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now an option play on second down. No, oh, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. Now this is picked up by the Bills. 20. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So not only the cough-up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. They go play action here, Purdy. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. And that's another big-time run. And it sure looks like the leverage game is being won by the offensive line. They're the low man on just about every snap, and they're winning pushing back the defensive front and creating great space for their runners. They run with McCaffrey off the option. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. 
And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. They'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get, so he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. Third down, here's McCaffrey. They juked him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 115 yards now for McCaffrey. It's a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They run the option here on first and 10. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. First down San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Purdy. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Those INTs all sting when you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Mm -hmm. Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? First down with Singletary. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Allen. Flush to his right. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Not when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. 
His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. From the 47, it's second and five. And now they'll throw with Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. 38 yards for Devin Singletary. And the Bills get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical is one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. And let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. McCaffrey on the counter, and not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. going to do it. Clock hits zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and ten. Back to throw. Purdy. Over the middle complete. It's Jennings. It'll go as a gain of four. And it brings up third and five now. You got the big lead defensively willing to 
give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Niners on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and five. Shotgun now with Purdy. That's caught by Jennings. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. For many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Purdy now to throw. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Second down at six now from the 42. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Purdy from the gun. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Ed Oliver threw the line and hitting him for the loss. Well, he had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Now Purdy. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, a 24-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you'd kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Now gold for the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was Brandon Ayu capping it off with a touchdown reception.
After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. <laughs> I say, run the football, you've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. He's starting to fall into the category of not fair because when he's on target throwing the ball, he's dangerous. But when you add in his ability to make plays with his feet, <laughs> Almost impossible. Well, yeah, exactly. They've had trouble stopping him in the secondary. This time they've got the great coverage. Oh, he can run too. <laughs> On first down, Allen. Throw right side caught by Davis. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Working with a second and four. Allen going to throw. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers, 37. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Here's Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far, but a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And Diggs has it. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Tyler Bass out for the Bills' field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. 
And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Here's Purdy. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Purdy sets up to throw again. Throw left side, complete to McLeod. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. To throw again on second down. Purdy, he'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 33. 11 yards for number 11. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to... And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Singletary to get the drive started. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second down and eight. They go right back to Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The Bills on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and eight. 
And a nice job there defensively to contain him and get him to the ground a few yards short of the first down marker. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. We see double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. Here's Sam Martin now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The San Francisco's offense returns to the field, even though they were able to force the punt defensively. Still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Completes a Kittle. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Hey, interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. Looking to throw again on second down. Purdy got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. There's Purdy on first and 10. Got an open man. It's McLeod. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a fresh ball and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. Pretty slow complete here to IU. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And the 49ers first down. Purdy will look to throw again here. And this is caught, Jennings. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first down, Purdy. And that's complete to McCaffrey. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, 
it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. Purdy looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. The throwing here, Purdy. Caught on the slam. Touchdown! Brandon Ayuk with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers get a bit closer. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive, but there he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there, and there's a silver lining to all of this, his resiliency, because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, this stops right here. And how about the positive play he just turned in? Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Bills are going to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Buffalo offense back out, ready to go. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. First down, here's the run with Cook. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Try to run for this with Singletary. Now they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. And now the Niners going to single for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. to throw for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. Well, that's the fourth time that they've tried to go for it on fourth down. They've only converted once, Charles. And obviously not a good percentage. And if you're going to go for it on fourth down, you think that you've got the right play dialed up. You can't be stopped. Your momentum's going to keep going. But one for four, that tells you that you need to look at things in a different way, and you need to tip your cap to the defense. They've done a great job. Purdy to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. 
Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Here's Purdy. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. Short completion, just four yards, and it brings up third and five now. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. This is Jennings. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Purdy looking to throw. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. So it's a win here for the Bills. And this one, Charles, just too much Josh Allen. Yeah, the numbers don't jump off the page, but he was a steady influence back there. He had a couple of touchdown passes on the afternoon. His guys rallied around him, and they're going to come away victorious. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.